Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Jungle City here in RimWorld. This is the first episode of the day, so obviously I have no clue what's going on. But let's hop in anyway. I think uh, we did go through a little bit before we started today. We looked around who needs some bionics. We need a bionic eye and two bionic legs uh, to get our movement back up. And uh, Shen is missing an eye, so he needs a bionic eye. Our male husky is dead. Very, very sad about that. But we do have a Preger husky, right? Yeah, late stage Preggers. So we got some puppy beds right there. We can always add some more puppy beds over here. And I think what I want to do now is check and see if we can find a male husky so we can get some more Preggers going on. Come on, Scrapbox, find me a male. No, he has chickens. Damn it. I would love some chickens, but I think it's just not the right thing for us right now. Nope, go away. We got our second inventory room set up. There's nothing in there just yet. Have I selected what's going to be stored here? It's like items, yeah, it's just general storage just like this. I'm tempted to adjust it to only have skins. I think I'm going to do that because the skins take up a lot of room. Yeah, let's just put the skins in here. So turn off everything. I only want... Textiles, is that it? Yeah, textiles. And then up here, I'm gonna disallow textiles. And the reason I'm doing this is textiles actually make the room less beautiful. We check out beauty. Look at that, every single place where there's a, oh wow, the machines as well, put the machines in there too. All the textiles, negative 31 beauty, negative 31, negative 31. All the other shit, only negative one. So the textiles and the machines have big beauty effects. So let's put the machines in here too. Mechanoids, I mean. That way, people will only come in here occasionally. All right, cool. It's nice that we have a generator up. And our power supply seems good. Who's our number one construction guru right now? Like, who's got priority on construction? That would be Shlomo. Lava Jackal. Just those two. All right, well, why don't we get Shlomo and Lava Jackal doing some more construction then? It looks like we have queued up some limestone over here. Do we actually have any limestone? Yeah, we have 1,400 limestone. So let me just make sure that when they get up in the morning, they're building this limestone. Because that would be nice. Shlomo and Lava Jaggle, right? Yeah. Scrapbox failed to recruit Busto? That's okay. We'll get him next time. Maybe. All right, Lava Jaggle's getting some breakfast. That's nice. Oh, I should also mention that I queued up some boar. There's 14 boar and four alpaca. I queued up the boar and the alpaca to be hunted because we, we don't have any meat. And without meat, we're not making any fine meals. Uh, also, I'm, I want to redo this zone in here. We currently have one stockpile zone for the entire fridge. I'm gonna change it so that we never have too much medicine because I've had a problem before where we just have way too much medicine. So what I wanna do is put a door here. I wanna have a door easily accessible for uh, to the prison rooms. Let's see, steel, no, let's use wood. Do we have any wood? Yeah, we've got wood. I'm gonna put a door here for the prison rooms. And it's gonna be right next to, I think a three by two square for medicine should be fine. So we're going to make a new zone right there. No, not the same zone. New zone right there for medicine. Only medicine. There we go. That way we'll only ever have piles in there. And, you know, even that might be too much medicine. You know, I'm going to cut it back to two, to two by two. That's just too much medicine. Let's ban this back. There you go. All right, fast forward. Mad animal. A boar has gone crazy. All right, don't really care, but I'll keep an eye on him, see if he comes close to the base. We can turn these turrets on if he does. Yep, they're building the wall out here. Very good. No sign. Oh, there's the boar. It just says moving. Why don't we go ahead and turn the switch on?
And we're going to put someone outside as bait. Yep, here we go. He sees the pathway to our dude. And he's going to die. Nice. There you go. Fresh meat. Fresh boar meat. Alright, the medicine's been moved over to this stockpile. Very nice. We're going to change the name of this medicine. Or name of the stockpile to medicine. It's going to be the fridge. Or a freezer. Corpse room. It's going to be mechanoids and leathers. And then general stockpile. It's going to be our chunks. Chunks and cut stone. All right. Shlomo's building sandbags. That's cool. Now he's going to build the wooden auto door over here. Good. Oh, oh no, they're building the bedrooms first. I guess that's fine. Yeah, bedrooms are good. Turn the lights off, though. I thought they are going to do this door first. This is fine, though. We do need to dig all this out. Why don't we queue up the mining for that? I'll leave the plasteel there for now, because the plasteel is going to take a long time to mine. Like, a long time to mine. Call it the morgue. Okay. That works for me. Whoa, that's a fire out there. Boomalope, huh? Probably. Or a lightning strike. Oh, snake's on fire. Snake's gonna die. Nope. Snake's okay. I love how the tortoise just sleeping like, ah, oh, it's nice and warm here, isn't it? So warm. So very warm. Yeah, get him, Scrapbox. Get him. Failed on a 4%. Darn it. Oh, I shouldn't put the door there. Um, I also shouldn't put the medicine here. Because uh, this should be a double door. Do door there and door there. Double door. Yeah. So why don't we... Dezone this. And dezone this. Put the medicine there. Yeah, and then the double door right here. Perfect. So now the drugstore. Queue up a door. Limestone walls? Yeah, we have lots of limestone. I would love to use wooden doors. We just don't have much wood. We're going to have to go chop some wood. I'm not even going to queue that one up until this one's done. That'll make sure the freezer's never open. Dryish is cleaning like a boss. Oh, look at Dryish clean. Nice job. Okay, limestone wall is going to replace all this. And we need to queue up some wood cutting because we're out of wood. Uh, oops. That was mining. It's not what I wanted. There we go. I 
And here comes the chopping army. We have wood cutting set to priority one because we rarely ever do it. So every time we queue up wood cutting, it just gets done right away. It's so it's so awesome. Why don't we go ahead and get this wall built? Where do we want the door? Oh, I can't build there? Okay. There, that works. And then here? No, here's fine. And where do we want the doors? Right there? And right in the middle? Sure. So any attackers that want to come in this way, because we've been attacked twice right right at this spot. Any attackers that want to come in this way, we're going to cut, cut all this down, put some turrets in here. And they'll all be on a switch, of course. Do we have any wires over here? Um, not really. Oh, we can put wires here. Uh, where should we put the switch, though? Probably put the switch indoors. Let's put the switch right here. Like that. Mm, yeah. That works. Yep, hello everyone. It's getting started. Ah, oh, I love streaming Twitch in the morning. It's good stuff. By the e by the afternoon and the evening, my brain is just goo, but in the morning I'm good to go. Got my fresh cup of coffee. How's hunting doing, goalie? Oh, you're cooking, of course. Cooking takes priority. But you can see he's cooking fine meals now because he has um, meat. And now that he's done cooking fine meals, he's going to hunt some boar. Two shots and a kill. Nice. We have struck uranium ore. Where? Oh, in here. That's fine. I don't even want uranium ore. Don't give a shit. Don't care. Okay, now I can put a door in here. Now, Twitch chat reminded me yesterday that I completely forget about royal beds. Why am I not doing royal beds? I honestly don't know. I completely forgot they existed. But yeah, we should definitely be doing royal beds. So I think what I'll do in everyone's bedroom, I'll put in a royal bed. And we can just replace them one at a time. It's going to take a while to get all these beds in. Probably gonna have to chop some more trees to get it done. That's okay, we'll chop. No problem. You build all your walls with marble? Yeah, I don't really care. I mean... At the end of the day, stone stone brick has 
way better hit points than wood or, or steel. So might as well just build out a stone. The type of stone does matter. Like, for instance, if we check out this sandstone wall, it has 490 hit points versus limestone, which has 540. So you get 50 more hit points, about 10% more health on limestone walls. But it really doesn't matter to me. I mean, 490, 540, it's all a lot of hit points. Compare it to wood. Wood has 175. It's all more than double that. Combat supplier. Ooh, let's find some bionics. Scrap box, where are you at, bro? Well, you're right next to it. Perfect. No bionics. Damn it. But I can sell some shivs. Sell the minigun. Sell the PDW. I might keep that PDW. I'm going to keep the grenades. Sell the power helmet. Do I need the PDW? It's not a bad weapon. I'll, I'll keep it. Who should equip it, though? Someone with decent shooting. No, I might give it to Lava. Is that going to be better than a shotgun? Um, maybe. Oh, there you go. Neilster. No brainer. Where's the PDW? There it is. Excellent. Hi, Zinc. Okay, our double door to the prison area is now there. So anytime someone needs medicine in the prison room, we can just pick it up right here and walk right in. We don't have to go all the way around like we used to. It doesn't really take up too much space. It only takes up four tiles, but in that extra door. We've completed all of our dusters. Okay, what are you guys making now? Making t-shirts, good. So the idea now is now that we have, you know, a steady crop of cotton coming in and all this leathers that we can use as well, I would like to have people always wear clothes that are in good quality, good shape, and that'll improve their moods. Like we check his moods right now, he's got no problems, none. That's because he's wearing clothes that are in good shape. I believe 50% health or better counts as good shape. So I'm going to restrict people to only wear things that are in, that are 50% more health or better. So at least 50% health and the quality doesn't really matter. Just at least 50% health. Let's see, no jackets, no parkas, no tribal wear. <laughs> no toques. I think I'll stick with just the dusters for now. So I'm going to turn off everything but the... I mean, yeah, just the cowboy hat. I'm going to turn off everything else. Uh, yeah, let's try it. And that should make people discard some clothes. Yep, there you go. People taking off clothes. That's fine. And we'll just have to make new clothes. So Dryish needs a cowboy hat. Do we have no cowboy hats? No, we do. Human, A human leather cowboy hat. Oh, fun. All right, everyone's got cowboy hats except Teskey. All right, so we need a cowboy hat for Teskey. Just make five of them. Do we have extra dusters? Man, I really wish you could click on a stockpile and see what's in it. As far as like, there should be a list of the items inside. There is no list. Uh, let's see, looking for dusters. Jacket. Poor quality shirt. Looks like we could use more dusters as well. Okay, just make a few more of those. Let me move the pants to the top, though, because I don't want anyone to be up without pants. Human leather pants. God damn it, Scrapbox. Okay, Teskey has no pants. So let's definitely build some pants. Pants, pants. Okay, so it's just Teskey that needs pants. Good.
Once this all gets mined out, we'll put in some turrets. Oh, a psychic ship. Where's this? All right, we got to take care of this right now. At least it's close to our base. Well, relatively close to our base. Do we have a uh, button out here? Well, no, we'll make a new button. Put some turrets down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's get me one more. Eight turrets should be fine. Give each one its own power line. That way, if one gets blown up, it won't destroy the other power lines. I've had that happen too many times where you lose all of your turrets uh, at once because the power goes off because the the circuit gets blown. There we go. So that'll get built. I don't think there's really any rush. All I'm going to do is turn off all this so this won't get built in the meantime. I'll cancel any beds that are not done yet. And we'll just put them back in later. Okay. Um, I'm not going to cancel the walls because I do want them to finish the walls. And we still have limestone, so they might as well. Man, it's too bad we're not finding any bionics. Give me a supplier with bionics, damn it. I wonder what's inside. Oh. Sleeping sickness. I've never heard of sleeping sickness in this game. Hmm. So our hunter now has sleeping sickness. Well, let's hope we can cure that. Who's our doctor? Doctor is... Red World and Lava Jackal. Lava can do just fine. So finish your food and we'll go treat dead goalie, okay? Okay. Oh, he's already doing it. Good job. Shen's out here digging. Still need to get him an eyeball. He should be okay. Most of these diseases, like malaria or whatever, they go away pretty quickly. I mean, as long as they're treated. Some of them are really tough, though. And I don't know if sleeping sickness is going to be one of those tough ones. It could be. Alright, they're pretty much done with the walls out here. Teskey's in a bad mood. Why are you in a bad mood, Teskey? What's wrong? He's nervous. Ah, she's nervous. So she could she could make benefit from having a uh, joy wire. She's tired. The psychic drone's affecting her. She's joy deprived. Well, do we have horseshoes. We have chests. We have pool. Play some pool. Well, that's something else. We do have enough money to buy like a telescope. She might like that. So why don't we uninstall these? We're going to replace them with royal beds. Oh, get the recruitment. Get it, get it, get it. Damn it. Fail. You're making pants. Yep, good job. How's your crafting, by the way? Crafting 13. Holy crap, scrap box. Nice. 
So some of our people will have these traits, like look at this, the psychic drone won't affect him very much because of this dull trait. So I think it affects him by half, yeah, 50%. So its current effect is, I didn't say, but if we take a look at a colonist, the current effect is negative seven from the drone. Uh, but for anyone who has that, you know, by half, it'll be less. There you go. So it's sa it's halved from seven to four. And you notice that Potato Man, not Potato Man, Dryish, Dryish is psychically sensitive, which means it affects her more. So instead of seven, it's ten. So some people are more prone more prone to mental breakdown uh, from those psychic drones. All right, these walls are done, so construction should now come this way. Yep, Lava's already on the case. Good job, Lava. It's been out here two days now. I think around day five, it'll increase the intensity. Which would be bad. Hi, Peta. Oh, are we out of time? All right, why don't we call this an episode here? Thanks for watching, guys. I've been Chen, you've been you. We've had zero luck on Prisoner Busto, but we will get her. She's a female archer. Volatile is a problem. She's going to need a joy wire, but she's got some nice interest, and she's not too old to uh, get a lot of work done while she's here. So why don't we see if we can't get her recruited in the next episode? All right, thanks for watching. I've been Chen, you've been you. Back next time, we'll take out this stupid psychic ship. Have a good day.